Hi, I'm Bob Schofield. I'm a Somerville community activist and youth sports volunteer. Uh, I'm actually uh, born and raised in Somerville. Uh, I grew up on uh, Porter Street and then eventually in 1980 moved over to East Somerville, Ward 1. Um, where uh, up until about 18 years old I graduated from Somerville High School and went off to New York for 24 years. My 24 years in New York City were absolutely fabulous. Uh, met my wife, uh, got married, um, had uh, the greatest uh, moments of my life when my daughter and my son were born, uh, Charlotte and Justin, and we always had a very close connection to Somerville. I have two brothers, uh, you know, Jimmy and uh, Brian, my parents. Uh, so although we lived in New York City for 24 years, we still had a very deep connection. Um, I, I actually had the Somerville Journal delivered to me by the mail. Um, so, you know, we always had that connection, always came back for holidays and whatnot. And uh, back in 2010, when my daughter Charlotte was looking to go to high school, uh, amongst the many schools and programs that she was looking at in New York City, uh, we took the time to come to Somerville and take a look at uh, Somerville High School, where she took a tour. And uh, it was a really easy decision. Uh, it was something that we wanted to do uh, for a very long time. And the opportunity with my job and my wife's job, Eileen, um, we were able to make a very easy decision. And uh, I'll tell you, and I say this to a lot of people, um, New York City has nothing on Somerville. It was a very easy transition. Um, all the things that we loved about New York City, um, we were able to get that here in Somerville, and the close proximity to Boston was just absolutely wonderful. Uh, the, the motivation to take on youth sports uh, as a volunteer uh, really kind of stemmed from a couple of places. Uh, one, uh, my family is rich in volunteering for youth sports. Uh, my father was a coach. Uh, my brother, uh, Jimmy, actually revitalized uh, the uh, Legion baseball program here in Somerville. Uh, my brother, Brian, uh, at one point in time in his life was actually playing for three baseball teams simultaneously. Uh, one of which I, I recall coming up from New York for the day to watch him pitch in his last game uh, for the high school and he actually threw a no-hitter that day. Uh, it was a really big deal for us. Um, my mother, um, you know, unfortunately passed away in 2006, but that woman never missed any of our baseball games. Uh, we all played baseball. My brother's uh, high school, um, some college ball, she never missed a game. She was our biggest supporter. Uh, the other was is that uh, my daughter played um, competitive uh, softball in New York. And when we traveled, uh, you know, came back to Somerville, uh, she went to the high school, she tried out for the um, uh, softball program up at the high school, Highlanders, and she, she ends up making the team. Well, it was a big deal to us. Uh, we're used to competitive ball, trying out, and it was important, you know, for her. Um, she had put a lot of time into it, and uh, making the team was a big deal. Um, I remember in 2010, that uh, 2011 actually, that uh, we, her first game at Lincoln Park, um, Salem was the, uh, Salem High School was the competitor. And they're already, the game is going on, they end up getting beat by 20 runs. She was devastated. She was very upset. I recall being in the car and waiting for a little while for her to calm down. And the first thing that she said to me, she goes, Dad, I, I just, I can't believe this, that there's only about five girls who have ever played softball before on this team. So for me as a dad, uh, what do I do? Um, you know, there's probably a long line of people uh, who are more qualified than me to coach that team and to help out. Um, but uh, did a little research and found that girls softball in Somerville was underserved. Um, Little League was doing a great job for the resources that they had, but really wasn't putting in you know, the time necessarily to kind of build on that program. Um, so myself and a couple of other parents got together um, and with the blessing of Little League, uh, we decided uh, to start up the Somerville Youth Softball Organization and um, with the sole purpose of, you know, really kind of empowering girls to play the game and a good feeder to the Somerville High School program. So that was really kind of the motivation for the, uh, you know, the softball program. Um, as far as Babe Ruth baseball, I was very disenchanted uh, to find out that uh, 
you know, a program that I grew up with, my brothers grew up with, um, didn't exist in Somerville anymore. Uh, it was 15 years without Babe Ruth baseball. There was literally no program between Little League and the high school. So for the high school, uh, no one's practicing, no one's playing games. Um, you know, there was very, very few kids who were actually playing in other towns. Uh, that for one reason or another, maybe they didn't feel engaged, uh, connected to those communities that they were playing in. Um, so in 2014, uh, my son was becoming of age for that uh, program, and I decided that, you know what, we did a great job uh, putting some of the youth softball together. Let's just copy that model, and let's make that a feeder to the high school program. And, you know, with the help of, uh, you know, uh, the mayor, uh, George Scarpelli, uh, Jim Halloran, and you know some of the recreation. Uh, they were great to help pilot the program, um, and uh, away we went. Uh, we now have approximately 140 girls playing softball in Somerville, ages 6 to 18. And for Babe Ruth baseball, albeit all boys are playing in the, pro in the program, it is opened up to girls, so I would encourage any girl out there that wants to play baseball to come on out. Um, and we probably have about 75 uh, you know, uh, kids playing uh, Babe Ruth baseball, and that's ages 13 to 15. Uh, but next year, we're actually going to expand on that uh, because those kids in 2014 are now becoming of age to age out of that group. Um, so now we're going to expand it to be in the Senior Babe Ruth program, and that will go from 16 to 20 years old. Kind of one of the hinted, hidden benefits uh, I'll walk into a school or I'll walk into a grocery store or a retail store in Somerville and inevitably somebody will say hello. I'm not that popular outside of the youth sports. Um, and you know, to have somebody say hello to me is kind of a way of saying thank you, uh, just the recognition alone. Uh, my wife Eileen gets that same recognition as well. Oh, you're Bob Schofield's you know, wife, and, you know, and that, that's good. I, I like that. I, that's nice. That's a nice way to say thank you. Um, and you know, just seeing those kids out there. You know, that's uh, between the two programs, we're talking over 200 kids who otherwise, you know, six years ago, seven years ago, they weren't these, these programs didn't exist. Um, they would find recreation in some other form or they wouldn't participate in anything. Uh, so for me, when we talk about, uh, you know, the opioid problems, um, you know, and kids getting into trouble, crime and whatnot, I, you know, I, I, a sense of uh, pride knowing that, you know, during the months of April uh, all the way up until November, you can go to any one of the parks in Somerville and there will be a kid playing softball or baseball, um, not getting into uh, trouble per se, um, or just going out there and enjoying recreation. Um, you know, one person's recreation might be walking in a park, uh, flying a kite or doing something else. Um, it just how it happens that my passion uh, for recreation comes in the form of playing softball and baseball. Well, for people who want to pursue volunteer, uh, specifically in youth sports, the first thing I would say is thank you. We cannot have enough volunteers. And sometimes volunteering becomes muddied water. Um, you know, you don't have to be out on the field. You know, you can volunteer in other ways. Uh, these programs, um, albeit very super successful, over 200 kids playing between the two programs, it takes a lot of work. Um, I think it's absolutely fantastic that some of the community access TV, you know, is doing these interviews and asked me to participate. But I can tell you that um, although I might be the figurehead for these programs, I couldn't do it without the volunteers that I have working with me. And those are the coaches. Um, Garrett Laws, Tim Hawkins, um, absolutely fantastic people, huge contributors to the program who, uh, if not for them, um, 
I wouldn't be sitting in the seat because there wouldn't be programs. Uh, you know, and there's many others. Uh, Mayor Curtatoni, uh, George Scarpelli, uh, Jill Lathan, uh, with some of the recreation, really do make um, you know all the efforts to get us fields and facilities, uh, you know, at an affordable price. Um, so it really works out uh, very well. So there's a lot of people that are behind me, um, and I would say to those volunteers. Try not to volunteer on your timetable. Um, really take it seriously in the sense that youth sports, unlike some other volunteering opportunities in the community, it has a timetable. We can only play games at, at a certain time. Uh, we get a lot of people who come to us and want to volunteer. It's just that we can't conform to their timetable. They have to conform to ours. Uh, we play softball and baseball at 6 o'clock at night. Uh, that's not always convenient for a lot of people. Um, be prepared, especially with softball and baseball, you're giving up your spring and summer. That's all it is. You're going to be out in those fields, and you're going to be playing, you're going to be practicing, and it's just, it's, it's so rewarding. It's so rewarding. Uh, I think one of my biggest regrets about being the organizer and the figurehead, uh, you know, whether it be the president of Somerville Youth Softball or the commissioner of Babe Ruth Baseball, is I don't get to coach, you know, which I really like to do. Um, I just don't have time. Um, my main priority is making sure that the on field experience um, is unbelievable to these kids. Uh, they should have all the same opportunities that any kid gets anywhere else in the United States. Um, they deserve it. Mm -hmm. This year's um, initiative, um, you know, uh, our initiative is always to enhance the program. We like to add a little bit more to each, uh, to each one of the programs. Uh, this year, um, the, we have uh, hopes of uh, launching our club team for so uh, girls softball uh, to be a tournament team to play tournaments on uh, weekends in, in spring, whereas it used to be that we just played you know, in the summertime for this club team. So we're expanding on that. Um, for, the boy, uh, for Babe Ruth baseball, um, it's adding senior Babe Ruth. Uh, that's a really big deal. That's 24 games that players will play after the high school season. So the 18 games that they play, now they'll play an additional 24 games going into the summertime. It's a really big deal. Uh, but this year, the big objective for us, uh, you know, from a board or a volunteer, the administrators, is affordability. Um, I will tell you that we can add all of the amenities, we can enhance the program with training and bring in instructors and we can go on these tournaments, but they all have tangible cost. Um, it's expensive. Um, and that's not always affordable you know, to the residents and the participants here in Somerville. Uh, a lot of our parents work two jobs. Sometimes they're a single parent. Um, they can't get everywhere. Um, we actually worked with Somerville Recreation at one point to use their bus um, during the summertime because the games start earlier and we're traveling. And a lot of parents couldn't participate uh, or have their kids participate because the kids couldn't get to the fields, uh, whether it be Gloucester or Swampscott. I mean, we travel around quite a bit, uh, and they couldn't play. So, you know, we talked to some of the recreation. We asked them if we could use their bus, and it was a big success. Those kids could play because we could transport them. We didn't have to do the carpooling or we were short rides, uh, you know, things like that. But it really does come down to affordability. Um, I will tell you that our second largest line item, aside from umpires, unfortunately, we've got to pay them, um, is our fields and uh, facilities permitting. Um, it costs a lot of money for us. It's our second largest line item. And if we want to enhance the program, we want to become more competitive. We want to keep our athletes here in Somerville playing for Somerville, which eventually they will play for the high school. Um, you know, we have to make it more affordable. And uh, you know, we are developing uh, some inroads with the city and some of our recreation. There have been conversations and suggestions that we should try to you know, work with their grant writers. Uh, work with recreation, um, work with the city of Somerville to get some taxpayer dollars, uh, you know, to make these programs more affordable. 
Um, we're not a, you know, we're, we're not a closed organization. Uh, we run programs for the, you know, super competitive as well as the occasional player. Um, so, you know, uh, we do a learn to play uh, and we try to make it as affordable as possible. But the reality is, is that, you know, this year our umpire fees are going up by 30 percent and that has to come from someplace. And to be quite honest with you, uh, we don't have a huge amount of volunteers, um, you know, to do fundraising, um, to really support the program. So for us, it's a matter of what do we concentrate as administrators? Uh, do we concentrate on raising funds so we can make it more affordable, or do we concentrate on the on-field experience? Uh, and we've selected, we've elected to concentrate on the on-field. Um, and the reality is, if it costs a certain amount of money to play, um, you know that has to come, you know, by way of our registration fees. Uh, we're very, very slim and we spend the money wisely um, and sometimes we don't have all the frills, um, you know, and, uh, you know, some of those items. Um, but uh, we run a really good softball and baseball program. Uh, I think uh, probably one of the closest to my heart and one of the dearest stories I have was uh, a couple of years ago where I was introduced to two very young ladies, uh, Madison and uh, Kaylin French. Um, at the time, uh, I didn't connect uh, the name, and you know they were two softball players, aspiring softball players. Uh, Kaylin actually was underage, but uh, you know we have a, a sibling clause in there that uh, if siblings want to play, then uh, we kind of uh, forget the age and uh, and let them participate. Um, and I recall, you know, after a few meetings uh, that. Uh, um, uh, Kaylin and uh, Madison came up to me with their mom and, you know, said to me that, um, you know, you know my dad. And I said, oh, really? And, uh, you know, who's your dad? Um, and they said, uh, you know, our, our dad is Paul French. And I go, you're right. I know Paul French. Uh, Paul French happened to be a player that my father coached when he was coaching in some of the Little League. And, you know, it just it kind of, you know, it's that kind of paying it forward. You know, my father coached, um, I'm coaching. Uh, Paul French, we're lucky enough to have him coaching now. So, you know, it's, again, it's a pay forward for us. Um, aside from it being my passion, it kind of feels like my obligation as well. Uh, where there was no Somerville Youth Softball Program, um, there is one today. Uh, and I'm quite certain that when I leave or retire or, you know, and just become a spectator that somebody else will come and pick up that as well. Uh, the same for, you know, Babe Ruth Baseball as well. I'm Bob Schofield and I invite you to check out Somerville Youth Softball on www.somervillesoftball.com as well as our Somerville Babe Ruth Baseball at www.somervillebabruth.com and there's plenty of information up there, albeit uh, we don't have it always up to date, uh, but there's lots of information there and you can always send us an email asking about uh, any of our programs and our events. Um, and I'll tell you, April through November, just go to any one of the parks in Somerville and we'll be there.